Let's pack costumes away! Yay! Yay! No, sad. Sad. <laughs> what is that face? <laughs> I'll put it in. I know. Alright? Okay, we're going to put our costumes away. We're going to give you some do's and don'ts on packing costumes away, storage. And cleaning. And cleaning. So we had an awesome weekend at Real Life Alive. It was great for all of us to show up and support mum, but it's over now. So hmm. now the sad part is packing all our wonderful packing, costumes away. Costume. I just want to stay in costumes all the time because it was so much fun to dress up. I think sometimes, you know, life is a bit um, overwhelming and a bit It's fun a to bit be somebody else tedious. for a little while. So yeah, it's a bit of fun mm. to, to have a bit of costume play. Yeah. But if you want to look after your costumes, mm. you have to store them properly. So we're yeah. going to show you what we do to store all our costumes so that yep. we can use them again. And um, awesome. try and pack them into as small a spot as we can because we have a few. There is a few. Yeah. Where are we looking? Oh, so step one in costume care before packing them away. Make sure they're clean. So always wash your costumes when you finished using them because um, you wear them you know sometimes you might wear them just for an hour sometimes mm. as we did we wore we were in costume for 19 hours uh, from beginning to end dedication it was awesome <laughs> it really was great um, but it means that obviously you've got to wash them so be careful when you wash your costumes because sometimes there's lots of delicate parts on them yeah. we had a slight issue with the sparkly mm. overskirt Sad. I know, I had a, a, a sparkly net overskirt to mm. my fairy godmother costume and simply by um, a light hand, hand washing, wash. yeah, light hand wash, all the sparkles have gone. Mm. <laughs> so a good thing we learned from that is that if you have any really sparkly clothes, hairspray will help keep the Set it. sparkles. It, it sets the sparkles on there. Um, especially when you're going to, you know, buy expensive material mm. like that. Yeah, and when we spoke to the people at the material shop, they mm. also said what we can do to save the skirt, because we've already made the skirt and obviously mm. we'd like to be able to use it again, you can use glitter hairspray and respray the skirt and then set it with normal hairspray again. And then, and then you can then, add as many sparkles yeah, as well. Yeah, you, you can make you it can extra, do it again. Extra, so, extra, extra. So that's a good thing. Mm. So this is what our material started as. It's quite sparkly. You can see them all there in the light. And then after a hand wash, this is what happened. There's still a few sparkles, but nowhere near the same, same amount. It's a bit sad. We didn't know that we had to set the glitter, first. The, the glitter first, but we will certainly know for next time and we will do our best to re-glitter this skirt. Do you love some glitter? <laughs> okay so next when you put your costumes away um, make sure that they are in good repair. Mm. Um, if you put a costume away and it's got a, a tear in it <laughs> there's always a teenager in the background with something being switched on or off that's going da -da 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 or a phone going off. I mean your phone just went off so don't you be giggling about that, girly. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> back to that. If you're putting your costumes away, make sure they are in good repair. Yes. If it's got a split in it, if it's missing something, if it's been torn. Um, and or... it's, it's probably better to repair it straight away. Or if yeah. you don't, make sure you leave a note on it. So next time you pull it out to wear it, you don't go, oh. Yeah, I, I think it's probably best to attend to it straight, straight away. away. But yeah, you're right, put a little note in with it to say, oh, there's a tear here or it's missing a button or yeah. something like that because you'll go to use it and you'll think, oh, that, yeah, I, I haven't done used that, that last time so I can grab it out and then you'll go to put it on and it'll be missing something and... Not good. Who's got time for that, really? Not I, said so. <laughs> Help me, said the bee. <laughs> so it's really important to repair things straight away but also if it's broken and not able to repair that you replace it straight away so that you don't pull the costume out and um because you will realize forget. something's missing <laughs> you will forget so that something's broken you want a complete there. outfit yeah uh, so when we put costumes away we always find it really important to steam them or iron them if you don't have a steamer just so when you do pull them out next time that 
they're pretty much ready to go. You yeah. Know, you don't want to be the night before ironing or... Yeah, we just bought a little cheap cheap um, steamer. Yeah. Um, didn't cost a lot of money. No. Just, um, you can get them from Kmart, Big W, you know. Yeah, they're, what, about $30 yeah. for a steamer. And and they're good for, for what you might need them for. Yeah. If you're going to be steaming them because you're using um, water yeah. with it, make sure they're very dry before you actually pack them away. Because you don't want them to go yucky. That's correct. No, stop. <laughs> That's correct. But the hair looks better now. It's fluffy. Oh, right. Fluffy. Mm. Right? Mm. Right. Quite right. so. like to when I have ordered a costume um, online or something mm. like that or when you buy them they'll often come in a plastic bag and it'll have a picture of the actual costume um, yes. in there I keep those pictures and pack them back with that so that when I'm going through the box of costumes I can go oh that's exactly what's in that that packet yeah um, if you don't keep those um, when you wear them or if you've got a photo of them hanging up or something like that you can just print that off on your computer, yeah. pop that page in with the costume, and then you know exactly what's in there. Yeah, um, and mm. likewise, if you buy a costume and then you add accessories to it, pack mm. the accessories in the bag. In the same bag, yep. So you've got the complete costume together again. Yep. Um, it's very handy. Um, so if they come in a good quality bag, keep those. Yep. Um, it's made to fit into that size. Yep. Otherwise, um, I use just a normal kitchen Ziploc um, zip bag. Yep. Or if you want to get a little bit fancy, you can. <laughs> Love. You got them. Um, the vacuum seal bags. Yeah, so I like using storage. vacuum seal bags for mine. I think it just keeps the moisture out, you know, no bugs can get in. Um, mm. Or dress bags that you can buy. Oh, the hang up ones. Yep. Yes. So you can store them in your Clear closet. Clear ones. Clear yep. ones so you can see what's in it, I guess. And it, again, yep. if you're getting label a bag that you can't see into, label, put label, a, label. Put a photo on it, yeah. Yep. Put a photo in it so you um, know. So you don't have to keep pulling them in and out of the bags to, to see. To see. I love watching all the S suck out of those. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, see, there's got to be some fun side of packing mm. away costumes. So I like cleaning. Yeah. So. <laughs> Passed on that, Jean. Yeah. Right. It's good stuff. It's addictive. <laughs> the way that I personally store the costumes is just in great big storage crates. They're in their plastic bags, and then I can stack those neatly into the storage crates. Yeah. But if you're going to put them away and you don't use your costumes on a very regular basis, you might want to think about putting a moisture absorber in the cupboard with them because there would be nothing worse than going to pull out oh, a costume moldy. and finding that it was moldy or something yucky like that. Yuck. So make sure they're in a dust free area if you can. Yep. They're not going to be um, affected by mold or damp and that sort of yep. thing. So a moisture absorber in the cupboard is always a great idea. Yep. So my mum loves a good list. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so mum yes. has more than one crate of costumes, mm. so instead of just having... Hey, so do you. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> um, instead of just having the one tag on each bag, mum has a list that goes on top of the crates, mm. so you know what's in which crate. Yes, because you don't you, want to have to a lot of costumes, you, you know. all of it just to find one if it's at the bottom. Yeah. So it's yeah. very helpful to put a list on top of your crate. Um, to see what's actually in there. In there, which mm. is good. Yeah. Uh, we wore wigs with our costumes, obviously to give it the extra mm. effect. Yep. Um, really important to clean your wigs before storing them away as well, especially if they're not going to be worn on a regular well, basis. Again, you're out, you're outside, or you're out at a party. You know, there's you, there's dirt lots of germs. aspects. Yeah, you might, you know, get a bit yucky and sweaty. And, yeah. Underneath them there, or um, mm. things might get spilt on them. Yep. Or 
just just the environment or whatever yeah. you know it might be dirty or whatever um, so so we only wear synthetic wigs, wigs yep um, which are easy enough to clean really easy to clean just for a sync up with um, warm, warm water, water with a bit of shampoo in it swish your water around soak your wigs to soak all the the, the grime off them rubbish off. yep um, and then just run rinse them, run them under clean water until there's no soap and let them air dry and then obviously you can go through and brush them and all the rest yeah. of it but look don't up, so don't peg them on your clothesline or anything like that just lie them no, down flat on, on a, a towel. towel so that they yep. can dry properly because you the style and the you know, you don't want to have to be trying to put curls and things back into back a week. In so. Um, so obviously the colder the water, the more it'll hold its style if you want to restyle the wig yeah. in hot water. True, true. Because it'll strip all the chemicals that And then it. you can actually um, fold them up carefully. You can actually put them inside the hair nets that you wear underneath them. Yep. Or turn them... Do you turn yours inside out or you just... No, I normally as, just not... Just put the, gently, the net around gently them. Gently bunch them up. I mean, yep. don't... Don't um, don't scrunch them, them into yeah. a ball. Yeah. Um, but I just normally put them back in the bags that they come in because they normally have a little white guard around them as well that mm. you know mm. can hold the package. Yep. So yep. Yep. But clean them. <laughs> Let's talk about some hoop skirts. Now, I had ordered a couple of hoop skirts and this teeny tiny little post pack, like itty bitty tiny post pack turned up and I actually thought that it was um, the shirt. a shirt that I had ordered. <laughs> It was not. And it was not. It was the hoop skirt. So I pulled and all out. And three in one packet. Impressive. I know. It was just like, it was amazing. So I opened them and they literally sprung out. Like a can of worms. Like, you know those those practical joke things where the snake thing comes flying out of a can? It was like that. They literally yes. just flew out of the packets. Now to get them back into mm. something similar, I, I don't even know. I don't we even probably know. probably won't get them as small as what they came. I wouldn't think but so. So long as you got them small enough to fit into whatever container that you were going to put them in. Yeah. Um, it's going to be tricky. Yeah. Like back in the, because you weren't around in the 80s, but back in the 80s, they used to have sun hats that used to spring <laughs> out like that. And it was a simple twist and fold type technique. Simple. And, you know, yeah, we could handle that. But some of these skirts are like six and seven hoops. Seven hoops. Seven hoops. I don't. I don't even know. So we contacted we'll the them. company and said, "Any any ideas on how to do this?" They wouldn't give us any. <laughs> they kept their secrets. They they, they have um, they suggested said, YouTube. Yeah, to have a look on YouTube. There's lots of um, DIY things on that. So we're going to have a bit of a look at that and see what we can come up with, mm. and watch a couple of those. Challenge accepted. But um, I stay tuned. I, I Could be a lot of fun. I, I don't even know. I don't, <laughs> I don't even know. Um, I It'll don't. I don't want to have to remove the hoops from the skirt. I'd rather just do this twist and fold technique. But I, I we'll don't figure it know. out. All right. Well, I'm glad you're here to help. Keep watching, <laughs> and we'll go through all our steps and see how we go. Let's let's do this. Awesome. See you soon. <laughs>
that mm. took a bit of effort um, but we've got the hoop skirts down to a reasonable size not quite where they were <laughs> they make it look way too easy way too easy it was interesting um, I'm done hey we can put them away now so <laughs> a bit weary go do some more no really yep maybe time for another cuppa yeah <laughs> yeah i think so right <laughs> it stops are good i know right so we're gonna we're gonna go and we're gonna take all the other costumes get them into the crates and pop them away yep until next time we can have some fun sounds good okay thanks for watching guys god bless Bye -bye.